Did you know that the food we eat every day could be linked to one of the most common cancers in men? Shocking, right? Today, we're diving into the surprising connection between pesticides and prostate cancer and what you can do to stay informed and protected. Prostate cancer affects one in eight men in their lifetime. While many factors contribute to this disease, recent studies reveal an alarming link to the pesticides used on our food. But don't worry, this video isn't about fear, it's about facts and solutions. Let's break it down. Pesticides are chemicals used to protect crops from pests, weeds and diseases. But here's the catch. They don't just stay on the plants, they can seep into the soil, water and even our food. Persistent organic pollutants are substances known as being a serious threat to ecosystems and human health. Persistent organic pollutants, of which there are currently 30, are persistent in the environment, i.e. they resist natural biological degradation, degrade very slowly in the environment and bioaccumulate in organisms along the food chain. This increases their lifespan in the environment. So how does this connect to prostate cancer? Studies suggest that certain pesticides disrupt hormones like testosterone, which plays a critical role in prostate health. Despite being the second most common cancer in the United States, some risk factors of prostate cancer remain elusive. The risk of developing prostate cancer or other cancers varies in the United States depending on where you live. However, there are no good explanations for that geographic variation yet. Nearly two dozen of the most common pesticides used in America are linked to prostate cancer, a study warns. Stanford University researchers looked at exposure to 295 different kinds of the chemicals across the whole country between 1997 and 2006. They found men exposed to 22 different pesticides were more likely to be diagnosed with the disease than those less exposed to the chemicals, including 19 that had never been linked to cancer before. Four of those pesticides were also linked to an increased risk of dying from cancer. These pesticides are commonly used on some of the country's most widespread crops, including soybeans, wheat, corn and oats. These crops are found in everything from cereal to snack bars to plant-based milks. This adds to previous studies by the Environmental Working Group, which show that roughly 90% of strawberries, apples, cherries, spinach, nectarines and grapes tested positive for two pesticides. Now for the good news. You can reduce your exposure to harmful pesticides. To help consumers identify the fruits and vegetables that pose the greatest risk from pesticides, Consumer Reports recently analysed seven years of data from the Department of Agriculture's Pesticide Residue Monitoring Program. Choosing lower risk produce is one way to reduce your exposure. Some suggested practical tips include wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly, opt for organic produce when possible, support sustainable farming practices. To wrap up, pesticides are a double-edged sword. They help us grow food but come with hidden risks. By staying informed and making smarter choices, you can protect your health and reduce your risk of prostate cancer. Knowledge is power. 